Really wish you could drag these around as well, like you can with armies. Alright, so the speakers we know are pretty well all-rounders. Let's just uh, split these up just so I can see the differences. A little bit more easily. So we got Palestro, Cototone, Generali, and Rosolino. And I think it is going to be easier if we just go via this. So we've got Rosalino, Generali, Presto, and Cototone. And then speakers. But we know that the speakers are all rounders. So are there any particular roles that these ships should or should not undertake? Hard to see because I can't actually see that. know vaguely where the stats are okay so first thing we need is depth charges which they all have identical you know what we didn't refit anything that might be a problem um, so I can see already the Rosolinos are terrible at piercing what's your speed 30 they're also the slowest so I think that the Rosolinos should be screens So I'm going to rename the Rosalinos into screens, and then we'll put them into a separate screening area. Which still leaves the differences between all the others. So we have the Generali, Pastro, and Cotone. What's the difference between these? I have these the wrong way around, is the difference between those. Three, four, five. Okay, so... The Cotone are actually the worst in terms of piercing. They have the best torpedoes though, so I think the Cotones are going to be... screens. Yeah, Cotone are going to be screens, and I think these two are going to be escorts. So, Cotone, screen, Palestra Generali, escort. Uh, let's see. Palestro, escort. Cotone was the screen. Because their torpedo attack is higher. They'll work better with the capital ships. And then the Generali are going to be escorts. Okay, so these ones were screens. That's an escort. Speakers can be anything. Screen. Escort. And the escorts, we will actually make the steering wheel. And the speakers are basically just going to go wherever the hell we need them. Uh, okay. Then we need to work on these. No, not these. These guys. Alright, so Ariani's we can tell already are screens because I put an S on them. And the Mistrales are E's because I've already put an E on them. Man, there are a lot of different versions of these. Blimey. Alright, S's go in there. E's go in there. And the others I'm going to have to work out. So we've got Navigatori, Mirabello, Folgore, Sella, Leone, and Soro. I think the better way of saying this is we don't need to worry about the Genera... No. The Maestrale or the Origani. Every other destroyer we do. Mirabello, Leone, Sella, 
Soro, Navagori, Fulgore. Not these two. So this is actually going the opposite direction. Uh, we're just going to have to do the more modern ones first. So here, torpedo attack on them all is the same. Piercing is the same. Depth charges. Fulgore is definitely an escort. He's got the best depth charges of any of these ships. However, uh, actually, these depth charges aren't bad either. So I can see that the cellar is already a screen. Mirabello might not be. So the cellar is going to be a screen. And the Fulgore is an escort. Cellar screen, Fulgore escort. And then that leaves these four. So that's Soro, Leone, Mirabello, Navigatori. Uh, that's basically all these. Mirabello, Leone, Sella, and Soro. No, sorry, Navigatori, not Sella. Navigatori, Soro, not Sella. And these, I think, are going to depend somewhat on speed. Except I can't see your speed. 34, I can. So the slowest of these is the Soros. The Soro, I think, is going to be a screen. Your subdetection's all the same. Uh, Navigatory has a really good light attack. So that's going to be a screen. So Soro, screen. Navigatory, screen. Then I think I'm just going to make the Leone and the Marabello. Escorts. Unless they're dramatically slower, but they're not. They're frigates. They're gonna be quick. Okay, so Navigatory. Screen. Soro. No, other way around. Wait, am I making them both screens? Yes, I was. So the Navigatory and the Soros are screens. Navigatory is a screening class. And then the Mirabello is an escort class. And then the Leone is an escort class. Which means that the Soro is a screen. And that is about the extent of my memory gymnastics. Alright, so the other thing I need to do is change your icon so I can differentiate that way too. So the shield are going to be the screens, and then the... Skull and Crossbones are going to be the Hunter Killers. They are there to kill submarines. Okay. You can all merge together. So we've got more destroyers than frigates in this fleet at the moment. I think right now I'm just going to kind of split you into two units of 16. Because the main thing you're going to be... No. Never mind. That's 50 odd of you. So I think that all of you can quite safely join that. And I'm going to put half of you in with them, and then half of you in with them. And then the speakers, I think, are going to need to be escorts as well, quite frankly. And 
then we can put you in with those guys. Merge you all together. And then I think I'm going to just split you four ways. To units of 20. Beautiful. And there we go. Oh yeah! Looking for a fancy modern strategy game? Is this game often on sale? Yeah, Paradox games tend to be on sale really quite frequently. Okay, cool. Uh, I really wish I could merge these. Well, not merge them, but have them closer together. That's fine. We'll manage. All right, so, admirals. Last time we got stupidly lucky because we hired a new commander and he was a... Um, bold? Not bold. The, the better version of bold. But Iacchiano is going to be the cruiser commander. Iacchino, rather. Then the close-in subs. Might be the new guy. Bergamelli is going to be... Bergamini, rather, is going to be capital ships. Recon is going to be Campione. Actually, no, Campione can be the other fleet commander. Because he's another one that likes his capital ships. And then the blockade runner is going to be the escort guy. Recon is going to be the gentlemanly because he lets his opponents get away. And that leaves the last admiral being either Ferdinando Umberto Philip, who has enemy retreat chance, so we're definitely not doing that. So it's going to be Ramorino. And we're going to make this colour light red. I'm going to make you guys dark red. Because you're the big submarines. We're going to make you guys purple. Because you're the high seas fleet. I'm going to make you guys blue. Because you're the other high seas fleet. And we're going to make you guys yellow. Because you're the recon. And then that leaves green for you. And there we go. Bit better. Bit easier to see the difference of. So, let's have you guys based in Toronto. Let's have you guys based in, say, Rome. You guys need to be based... Well, I was going to say in Germany, but actually now that we can get in and out of Gibraltar, we can base you wherever. Let's just put you in Sicily. Both of you in Sicily. And you in Rome. That's fine. Huzzah! Okay. What else do I need to say? I need to tell you to automatic split off. You attack anyone that is of danger. You attack anyone of danger. You go after light, low risk, split and repair. You go after low risk, split and repair. You guys don't fight anything. And then you guys, low risk. And please do reinforce if you need to. Cool. Right, September 39. Soldati was a 38. We could have researched that. Oh, hang on. The other thing I need to do, and this last time took basically no time whatsoever. Not so sure that's going to be the case this time. Speaker, just because we've got so many of you, I would like for you to upgrade... It wasn't depth charge, it was the... Ah, here we go, with sonar. Upgrade you to active sonar. And the refit is so unbelievably cheap that you go ahead and do that. So any speakers... Oh, we have to do it individually. Fine. You lost 
just your E flag. There you go. And then I want those done yesterday. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to drop all of you lot down to just one shipyard. All those can be done. Marbazir, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? You, you've you arrived at an auspicious occasion. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, Marbazir. Because Poland's going to be in a bit of trouble soon. Germany just declared war on them. <laughs> Am I going to add smoke to any of the ships or would that have been automatic? So the smoke is automatic. It means that they have a 20% chance to run away. Won't be staying long because I'm getting a headache. Oh man, sorry to hear that, but yeah. I get it. Long streams equals headaches. I get them too. Um, is there anything else I want to upgrade? I mean, yes, this was a naval doctrine. So let's start continuing to do the submarine doctrine. That would probably make sense. So we're going to let Germany do their thing in Poland. My oil supplies are definitely uh, dwindling a little. Oh no, they recovered. Oh, it's because all the ships are moving. Right, right, right. And we can modify our government once again. Um, are there any other infantry things we want? I mean, we could also do the anti-submarine submarine detection buff, but I think what I may actually want to do here is commerce raiding in preparation of going after the Brits. Is this modded? Yes. Yes, it is. Raid from Marbazir with love. Zog rejects! I think it's because I triggered this just after the war started. Had I done it, like, a week before, he would have uh, accepted. Defiant to the last, King Zog has rejected the ultimatum. He and his advisors are now trying to escape through whatever pitiful defences Albania can muster. We must occupy Tirana and put an end to this farce. Which is bloody annoying, because this means I actually need to mount an attack now. Without any marines. Um, alright. Ooh. Invasion penalty reduction, convoy rating efficiency plus 10. We should probably try to get to that. We're going to get these first, though. Um, right. You lot are still in training. I don't know how to do this. Those Ethiopian units are not very well equipped. I don't want to send the Sardinians. We can take a risk and send the French. You know what? We have a couple of troops we can use for this. Hopefully that can do it. We need to get that plan set up nice and quickly. Diplomats from Italy have delivered an ultimatum to Albania, demanding the latter's annexation into Greater Italy. In a brave act of national leadership, King Zog has refused to yield to the Italian demands, urging the Albanian people to resist pressure from Italy. Nevertheless, foreign military experts agree that Albania has little chance of resisting an invasion. So what I'm kind of hoping is if I declare war on them without joining Germany's war, that the allies won't invite Albania in. Soviets declared war on Poland. Huzzah. Much like people invading the Soviets. Trade is dropping. So the problem here is... Oh no, Siam wants to trade with us. Okay, we'll buy a rubber from you. Don't need as much coal from you. Spain is exporting way freaking less, so we're going to need to increase the amount I'm iron I'm buying from Sweden. And the iron shortage should be resolved. 
Stage wise, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Very, oh, sorry, for the uh, prime sub. Very much appreciate that. Welcome to the Maudlings. Good to have you joining us. And I did also notice that Torshin gave out a sub just before Marbazir arrived with the raid. So, Jagar, congratulations on the gifted sub, courtesy of Torshin. Thank you very much for that, Torshin. Appreciate it. And then the other preparation I'm going to do is I'm going to get my old warships. I'm going to just park them in Brindisi. The United States of America embargoes our country. The United States has imposed a complete embargo on us following the recent political actions. Using their ties in South America, the countries under the Monroe Doctrine have followed suit with the USA's declaration. It seems we will have to look elsewhere for the resources we require. But I haven't done anything yet. I mean, I did try to revoke somebody's sovereignty but hey that's just kind of what you do in this era everyone was doing it meanwhile germany is crushing through poland you guys have arrived how's the planning prep coming it's coming along and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put you on naval support here Oh, there's a passage here. Uh, contested and enemy. So submarines can still go down the Adriatic, but regular ships can't. That's really interesting. That's definitely new with this mod. And there we go. We have refit our entire escort fleet with better sonar. And now I'm going to need to buy in a bunch more coal. That's why I stopped buying it, because I was refitting. What did we just research? Ah! Artillery. Excellent. So we can get better anti-tank defense and hard attack and organization, or just more hard attack. I think I'm going to take the defense and organization, because my divisions are already kind of wimpy otherwise. We'll go ahead and start spending some army experience, because we now have a surplus. And then the other thing we're going to do is set you lot. To stop drilling. And we're going to bring you into here. And then have you active in the southern Balkans, if you would be so kind. You have no aeroplanes. How are you existing? Here, let me fix that for you. And we actually have a bunch of fighters now, and those will be the, the much better G50s. In fact, these are, yeah, these have already been upgraded to the G50s. Unfortunately, their range is pretty pathetic. Warsaw's about to fall. There it goes. German forces advancing on Poland have succeeded in capturing Warsaw. Sporadic fighting continues in Praga and a few other districts, but organized resistance in the city seems to have ceased. The Polish government reportedly evacuated the city as the first of the German units entered the Warsaw suburbs, and the present location is unknown. Fighting against the German invaders continues on in other parts of the country, but the loss of the capital is a serious blow to the Polish war effort. Your planning prep is not yet done. Come on, people. I'm a little bit nervous that I've done everything that I needed to do. I mean, we're still really short on heavy weapons. Mostly, I think, because we're still training those guys. We did get up to 170 factories, which I think is a lot more than last time. Uh, we are still working on the uh, refineries. And soon we can stop importing more. We're about to get better rubber, actually. This will help. Boom. Nine. Now I can stop importing quite so much rubber. However, we are going to need to continue getting these. Let's get another production efficiency growth. And efficiency retention. And efficiency base. You know what? Let's do the base first. What was the other thing? Was that an air doctrine? That was an air doctrine. I would love for my fighters to have more agility. Thank you. 
Are there any German tanks this time? We did spot a few. Uh, yeah, there. Workhorse of the fleet. And we've got excavation as well. So we can now get battleship primacy. And then... Production efficiency... Oh no, this was excavation. Let's do the excavation. No, let's get the efficiency growth. We need to get the quality of our industry up as well as the quantity. Poland has now capitulated. I'm going to tell you to stop training. I'm going to tell you to stop training. We've done what we can. And now I can stop importing quite so much from Siam. Sorry, Siam. And Vittorio Ambrosio is going to be guarding the mountains of the Alps and also preparing a naval invasion. This is a man of many talents. Hopefully. Alright, let's do another quick save. Alright, Albania. You are guaranteed by France. So the fact that my border with France is not very well guarded is a little bit of a problem. Hopefully those five Alpine units are going to be enough to hold. Which they're probably not. For the simple reason... That I never actually did any of these. Maybe I should hold off on Albania until Germany is punched through the low countries and then France actually has something to worry about. Um, Japan has taken the entire coast of China. Let's do a quick comparison with this here. So, China is halfway to capitulation. They've lost 2.8 million. Japan's lost 242 in fact, the whole Chinese front has lost 3.5 million. I'll wait until Paris falls. Well, the problem is, last time we played this, it didn't. Black Cayman, thank you very much for the 19-month resubscription. Very much appreciate the ongoing support there as well. Thank you. And Ethereal Walker, congratulations on following the channel. Oh, rather, thank you for following the channel. Not congratulations, I mean congratulations as well, but thank you. Soviet troops have occupied eastern Poland officially for the purpose of protecting Belarusian and Ukrainian minorities from the chaos that followed the collapse of the Polish government. German forces are withdrawn from these areas in good order, resulting in Poland's effective partitioning between the two powers. And what are you doing now? Wehrmachtsempfringen, which is the women in the army for Germany or women support companies or something like that I think I mean the other thing would be if these guys you know I'm just gonna go and deploy them in Piedmont those who are available completely. That would stop me building boats, and that's not okay. Oh, dear. Crap, 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 crap. crap. We're being raided. Um, do, 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 do. The best way of dealing with this is moderator view. Do, do, do. 